Good evening. Victims of the contaminated blood scandal from the southeast have hit back at Sir John Major, who today described the infections as incredibly bad luck. The former Prime Minister was giving evidence at the public inquiry into what's been described as the biggest treatment disaster in the history of the NHS. Up to 30,000 people infected with HIV and hepatitis during blood transfusions in the 1970s and 80s. Well, more than 3,000 people have since died, many of them haemophiliacs, but others were infected during operations and childbirth. Well, our reporter Rachel Hepworth is in London for us this evening. And Rachel, Sir John Major has faced some pretty heavy criticism since he made those comments earlier on. Well, yes, he did, Matt, partly because many victims of the scandal have, have long believed that when Sir John worked in the Treasury, he was very unsympathetic to their calls for compensation, uh, basically because it would open the floodgates to a very expensive litigation for the government. But he said today that that actually was not the case at all, uh, that a letter that was uh, written to Mrs Thatcher expressing that view and signed with his initials, JM, was actually from a colleague with the same initials, not him. But he did agree that as Chancellor, he had to be incredibly mindful and dispassionate about how taxpayers' money was spent. But it was this comment today that infuriated campaigners. There's no amount of compensation you can give that could actually compensate for what had happened to them. What had happened to them was incredibly bad luck, uh, awful, and, and, and it, it was not something that anybody was unsympathetic to. Well, you could perhaps hear the response there, campaigners saying, no, it, it wasn't simply bad luck that some 30,000 people uh, were consigned to a lifetime of poor health, that, uh, uh, in fact, it was very real failings in health policy that caused many premature deaths, including that of uh, Steve Diamond from Broadstairs, who died in 2017. His wife, Sue, has long campaigned for better support for victims. I was stunned, like most people, not only that he thought it, wrote it, but that he actually felt able to say it in front of that audience where some of, some of the direct victims of bad luck were sitting. Those who have had our lives wrecked. And sometimes I think maybe realisation of what happened to us, what was done, it's too awful for them to accept that we were real human beings with hopes and dreams like them. Well, many people like Stephen Sue have suffered real financial hardship and they're desperate that uh, a settlement is agreed soon. People are still dying during the currency of this, although this happened, the infection during the 70s and 80s. A payout for many would be acknowledgement of what went wrong and it also give people the ability to make memories before they die. It's too late when they're on death's door for them to try and make memories and that's really what it's about, about as I said before, about letting them live with dignity and die with some dignity too. So speak clearly of the essence. Compensation is coming along with an acknowledgement that failings were made. Uh, but after four decades of campaigning, it really can't come soon enough. OK, Rachel, for the time being, thank you very much indeed.